Welcome to Citrus Heights, California. Citrus Heights is located a mere 21 minutes away from downtown Sacramento, which makes it very convenient for commuters. The first thing to review is demographics. The city has a total population of nearly 88,000 people. The largest ethnic group is white, with close to 68% of the population, followed by Hispanics at 20%, and two or more races at five. Citrus Heights has a median household income of nearly $66,000, beating the national average of 64 by a slight margin. Much like the surrounding communities, the top eight employment industries tend to fall in the same categories. The most common industry is retail with 14.7%, healthcare is a near second at 13.5%. As for educational attainment, which is based on adults 25 or over, 90% of the city's population are high school graduates and 21.6% hold a bachelor's degree or higher. Next on our list are the real estate values. How are they looking? Since Citrus is home to such a large population, it has close to 34,000 households. 58.5% are homeowners and 41.5% are used by renters. As for home prices, they fall within a range of 289 to 722,000. The largest group of homes is priced between 433 to 577. When it comes to the age of the homes, the largest group of homes was built between 1970 and 1999, which means you won't be dealing with renovations right away. Considering the state of the market, it is no surprise that the median price increased from 455 to 525 during the last 12 months. 529,000 is the latest median price as of June 2022. The days in the market has kept between 8 to 17 days since last June. Homes are averaging 12 days on the market before an offer is accepted. The current price per square foot saw an increase of 13% within the last year and currently sits at 347. As for apartment units, the average rent is going for 2168. The average price for a studio is 950, whereas living in a 4 bedroom unit is 2370. How are the schools in this city? What are the ratings? Citrus Heights has 55 schools overall. 42 are private schools and 13 are served by the San Juan Unified School District. The top elementary schools in the area are Cambridge Heights and Skycrest. Cambridge Heights has 381 students enrolled and a 23 to 1 student teacher ratio. It has terrific reviews from previous students and parents. As for Skycrest, students are making solid academic progress from one grade to the other. Although it has close to 500 students enrolled, it still has a low ratio of 17 to 1. In the middle school section, we have two options, Woodside and Lichen. Both schools have a low ratio of 20 to 1, despite having an average of 500 students enrolled at any given time. They also offer K-8 instruction, which means kids won't have to make a transition in between. Woodside is in a better ranking in terms of reviews. For high schools, we have two options again, Mesa Verde and San Juan. Mesa Verde has 900 students and has higher test scores and college readiness than San Juan which means there is a higher percentage of graduates meeting UC and CSU entrance requirements. San Juan does beat Mesa with a lower student count. San Juan does have better reviews from previous alumni. The last thing to tackle is the crime activity. Citrus Heights has a crime index of 15, making it safer than 15% of other cities. The safest neighborhoods of the city tend to be located in the north section, going towards Roosevelt. Most of the crime activity happens around the center. The chances of becoming a victim of crime in this city are 1 in 305, which means you have better odds in the national ranking. The city is safe to live in and has a relatively low violent crime rate. The reason why it ranks lower on the index is the property crime, more specifically theft. 
in which the odds stand at 1 in 38, just a bit lower than the 1 in 47 nationally. Interested in buying a property in this city? Make sure to contact me. We'll get this thing started for you right away. And if you like the content you're seeing, please subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more to come. See you on the next one.